So we've got this conference, a conference um, at the Findhorn Foundation, which is very much about a co-creation with nature, finding this symbiosis that you speak about. It's about finding that. And so we're having a conference about what can we learn about birth? How can we improve practice, but also thinking? You're saying that the questions, asking the right questions feels a critical, critical thing for us at this point. Um, have you got a sense of what this symbiosis could look like? Or are, we, or are we far away from that? I think it's better not to be precise. Mm -hmm. People will try to predict what will happen uh, during the next decade, next century. We can say that in general they have always been wrong. <laughs> so that's why I uh, constantly uh, repeat that the important point today is to phrase the right questions before it's too late, before it's too late, and things are going so fast today. So I think that that will be perhaps one of the themes that will develop, will develop in this conference in northern Scotland, uh, that learning to phrase appropriate questions before it's too late, and that will include, of course, question about childbirth, because finally, when we consider what happened during the past decades, we can say that the phase of human life that has been the most dramatically modified during the past decades is childbirth. There is, and childbirth, which is considered today by several emerging disciplines as a critical period in the development of human beings. And we can say that from many perspectives. I'll just mention one perspective when we have to phrase many, many questions. It's the bacteriological perspective. To understand the importance of this issue, we have must repeat that the human placenta as a particularity is special. It's very effect, efficient at transferring antibodies from the mother to the baby. So that's why when we talk about human beings and the period following immediately after birth, a period of birth from a bacteriological perspective, the question is about the bacteriological environment at birth and how familiar this environment is for the mother and therefore for the newborn babies. How familiar it is. If you phrase this question, you realize that recently there has been a turning point. Until recently, a, been a, a turning point, point. Yeah. new phase. Uh, until recently, women were giving birth in a bacteriologically familiar environment. The immune system of the newborn baby immediately after birth was stimulated, educated, programmed by familiar microbes. Women were giving birth in a bacteriologic familiar environment. Suddenly, what is new where childbirth is concerned? That in general, women give birth in a bacteriologically unfamiliar environment. And we might say uh, an environment that lacking of diversity, lack no diversity, poor and unfamiliar. This absolutely new in the history of mankind. So it's an example to uh, start a list of questions we have to raise in new conferences, questions we have to raise to have to realize what is really new in our species. And what is absolutely new is human beings now are not born in a bacteriologically rich, familiar environment. <laughs>